بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تيستينج بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اوكي تيستينج ات فيلز لايك وين مسلمز ار توكينج ابوت ذا ذا فور خلفاء الراشدين ذي اولويز تن تو نوت توك از ماتش ابوت حضرت عثمان اها kind of giving the impression maybe he was safrullah norris yes why why is that that we have fallen into that that type of mentality when i mean all of them are the friends of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam no no because we became idiots so we follow idiot people idiot alims and idiot teachers nobody is interested in our history properly nobody is teaching the history properly because all parents are aiming for their kids to become hafiz they're not interested to know to know about the hafiz usman to know about the hafiz abu bakr to know about the hafiz umar and ali they don't want because they are proud they just want the title my daughter is a hafiz my son is a hafiz swallowing quran like an idiot heart is dirty but they swallow quran they can brag to all their friends but they don't want their children to become like hazrat usman hazrat ali hazrat umar hazrat abu bakr they don't want that they don't want to they want their children to be as secular as possible to have enough from this world as much as they want and uh, not too religious yani That's why they have no problems if their children memorize the Quran and then later on they go to clubs, they have boyfriends, girlfriends, and even those ones who are training to become qaris, how do you say? Good reciters of Quran. You're looking at them, they always dress up as if they're in a club and they sit around crossing their legs like this and reciting to each other, mashallah. And everyone is so happy. because it is not wahhabi wahhabi isn't the only evil you know there are worse evils than that too all because you don't have a shay that's all you know so you just follow according to who according to what your governments are telling you according to what the ideology according to whether you are a socialist they're going to follow that if you are nationalist you're going to follow that if you are a liberal they're going to follow that according to that and you use the religion just to follow what the society is saying this is what you have to do every ism is there capitalism socialism except for hilafat they don't teach that they say run away from that that is all wrong they're saying from top to bottom they're saying it because once you studying hilafat history of islam kings once you studying that you understand wh- there's a completely different system then you understand what is education in islam what is religious education in islam how islam is treating economy how islam is treating workers how islam is dictating how you should be treating this world and that time you're going to think once you study this you say everything else is wrong they cannot afford to do that they say don't islam just go up and down like an idiot empty like a parrot like a robot and wow, 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 swallowing the quran but it's not changing your heart this is what it is everyone is fine with it it's not like you have big demonstrations people are saying no bring down this wrong understanding never and then after that everyone is happy because the son became a doctor lawyer there's that they sit cross legged to drink their chai they go to conferences they write notes they get nice package and then we go to the highest jannah isn't that so so no nothing So never mind. This is not how we're going to teach our kids. So. Something is very wrong in this world. When you come up from that idea something is very wrong then you want to do something that is right. 
Muslims have lost this. Even when every day they see wrong things happening, wrong things happening to their brothers, wrong things happen, they run away from that. Especially in the West, they run away from that. They say, yeah, it's wrong, but mm, we're getting a nice paycheck. It's wrong, but we have six flags. It's wrong, but we all have our computers, and we, we're okay, Yani. Allah must favor us. Alhamdulillah, astaghfirullah, alhamdulillah. And that's it, finished. Heart is dead. And then everything else about the issues of Islam just become another cross leg, chai in your hand, talking. Everyone trying to fix Islam like that. Why don't you speak to the rightly guided alims? Why don't you speak to those ones? The sheikhs, why don't you speak to them? They don't want to because they say, I know better, I'm a doctor. I am a, a PhD, but still doctor. Yes? It's very sad. So all of this gives them a lot of ammunition for pride, for arrogance. So even if they hear something which is true, that they know it is true, their arrogance is so sophisticated, so developed, they say, no, it's not. I don't want to. So anyone comes up with truth, they say, I don't want to listen to this. Then they're going to find something wrong. I don't want to listen to this. Why? Um, because he doesn't speak Arabic. I don't want to listen. Why? Because he mispronounced certain things. You understand? Everything is there. So, how? How now to reach to people? Don't reach to everyone. Reach to those ones who are asking. They have lost. Astaghfirullah. May Allah keep us in safety, inshallah. Ah, we're saying we know all the answers? No, we don't. We're saying we do everything perfectly? Never we're saying that. We are saying we're trying to hold on to our shaykh tightly in jamaat, properly. We fall down, we get up. We fall down, we get up, but we're in the right direction, inshallah, because our shaykh is in front of us. Those who have no shaykh, their shaykh is shaitan. Go follow your shaitan. Don't bother us. Those who are following the share, hold on tightly because shaitan is very busy these days. The winds are knocking down everywhere. Fire is burning everywhere. Every sign is showing, wake up. If you're not holding on to your share properly, the winds will overtake you. The fire will overtake you. That's all. You understand? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.